our first set is going to be Doppler 12 versus Sonolator. Uh, Doppler 12, I know, has been uh, playing the game off and on for the past few years. Um, had participated in Summer Cup last year and Winter Cup. Um, and then Sonolator, a relatively newer player, but did play in Winter Cup, and, and I've been playing with him a bunch, so I'm excited to see how these two duke it out. Yeah, and then we have a matchup, if you guys stick around, of Yosh versus Paratroopa. Yosh, notably, has already played all three of their matches. Uh, if you care for spoilers, you can do that yourself. We're going to be watching one of them, and it's their match against Paratroopa, which is probably uh, one of the more uh, closely uh, based on skill. I, I think Paratroopa is going to come in as the favorite, but that one should also be interesting. That's not the one we're starting off with. We're going to be starting off with Dop. Doppler versus Sonolator. All right, and I think we're ready to go. Actually, well, I guess I should drop drop into the uh, the well, not exactly a draft screen, but uh, oh, and it's not apparently it's not me playing myself. Let me uh, oh, and I don't have uh, either of these players in my autocomplete just yet. I should have probably done something about that anyway, but uh. Let's see oh here. gosh, there's but, more secret identities. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but Kletos yeah. works to works to fix that up. We've uh, we'll be playing the venues in this order. They're displayed: uh, library, courtyard, ballroom, uh, and then terrace, modern, and high. Oh, actually, hang on, no. So it's gonna be library, courtyard, and ballroom, and then it's gonna be high rise, modern, and terrace. Uh, yeah. To finish it off. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So this is ba this is basically, uh, op op. Uh, is playing the role of the Gabriotron in this tournament, and mm -hmm. uh, the the players themselves have no control over these venues, uh, and they must play as as it says they must play all of them, even if one of them's getting stomped because you know group stages yep. we need tiebreakers and whatnot. Yep, and some of these venues have some interesting changes. I believe Courtyard has a couple extra um, guests to make it a little bit more spy sided, um, and then High Rise is. Uh, any three of six, but yeah. but swap or or um, microphone has to be on. So yeah, we'll talk about why these are interesting changes as we get into those particular games. This yeah. is going to be so, our group D match for Doppler versus Sonolator. And if you guys are ready, I think let's jump into it. I think I am. Yeah, ready. I'm good to go. In that case, I'm looking at a library game with I our am. spy yeah. as yeah Doppler. Uh, good old uh, Mr. Salmon. Mr. Salmon Danger, perfect. In the middle of Toby's tray, we could potentially have a quick purloin here to note, but let's start it in three, two, one, playing it. Actually, I lied. We could not have done that. We have a drink in hand. It's about 50-50 if you start off with a drink in hand, and generally spies do not want it, especially for bugs, but it also does give you the potential to do quicker microfilms, for example, or uh, quicker purloins. Yeah, tragically, um, we hit a green test for our flirt, but it's canceled, so we'll um, unfortunately not quite have any progress yet. We do have this green book, though. Yeah, General's already gotten a highlight, and he, he's here at the bookcase. Um, beyond that, it's the middle statues there from Disney, and potentially also wheels. Uh, really, when it comes to library, because it's a map that takes almost five minutes of time, you're going to see a lot of highlights, and it's something that you really want to tamper as a sniper. Uh, just so you don't get overwhelmed with half Ooh. the party being high lit. This is a very early purloin here, uh, with four minutes still on the clock. Uh, the laser's over by the ambassador. We're going to see it here shortly, but the drink has been gulped. We'll see if we get some suspicion for it. We did not run away. Yeah, it looks like the list has just been noticed. Um, but we were behind Pillar. I wonder I wonder if we've been... if we're in a chain at all. Yeah, behind pillar has uh, a double-edged sword effect, right? If you are noticed behind the pillar, it seems even more suspicious that the list is gone. Uh, but you're behind a pillar. They might simply just not acknowledge your existence because you're not in their uh, direct field of vision. Yeah, Sonolator, I think, gets some good lowlights out of that. But still, we, we've we managed to evade getting a highlight, which hopefully is a good sign. Yeah, uh, early purloin, if you get away with it, is very powerful. Uh, both for just obviously completing missions, you definitely need to do some hard tell in a 5 of 8 situation. Uh, but also, it just puts a lot more pressure on the sniper. As soon as we hear a contact go off, banana bread being said, uh, the sniper is going to be very uh, touch and go if they want to take a shot or not, even if it's just our second mission. 
Doppler does have the 49% here. If we want to get a bit closer, we could go for the 51%. Uh, the other option is just leaving, but it seems like we're committing to the timer flirt. I'm interested to see if they do a twitch over uh, just yeah. to avoid only being able to possibly get 98%. Yeah, I think a twitch would be ideal, but unfortunately our ST doesn't even give us the choice. Oh. Very to patient see it. on the reject there. Yeah. Um, maybe even a bit slow, but the laser was nowhere near us. It's not an actual problem. This could be a setup for banana bread. If we do the banana bread now, the only person in as a uh, DA was our DA. I think the SDA might have snuck in at the last second, uh, but this could be a potential highlight. It looks like the sniper has taken oh. it. Uh, they acknowledged that there were two real conversations, and they found Duke, and they found Doppler. Everybody else in our conversation was already low lit, presumably from the purloin. Yeah, and I think I think the contact itself wasn't that bad, but because of uh, because Sonolary did such a good job taking low lights from that purloin, I think it makes us look especially suspicious. So, I think Doppler is in a in a tough spot on how we're gonna find two more missions after our flirt. Yeah, the problem with this bookcase is either it's a waste of time, which is no good, because we're already running low, we only have 80, 90 seconds left here on the clock, or we're completing it as a microfilm mission, which is going to be rough because we've eaten the highlight there with the banana bread. I thought our seduction target was going to come close to us, but nope, they just did a <laughs> uh, turnaround. Uh, this might get a shot here, we'll see if Sonolator's on it. Is their memory good? Yeah, yes. there is. It was also a quick put in. You're really stuck in these situations with microfilm where AI won't return a book uh, quickly. They just simply will do it. They'll at least take a few animations, usually three. Um, yep. But the longer you're standing at the bookcase, the more likely it is that you're going to get caught. Uh, doing it half in the middle here, uh, just taking a few seconds, is neither fulfilling the etiquette requirement and it's also uh, giving the time for the sniper to to drift over and see, especially yeah. on library where you could actually stuff a book in the bookcase and it'd be completely off camera. Yeah, but I, th I feel like Doppler was in a in a in a tough spot too because we're gonna have to find the last mission and flirt. But yeah, um... it really comes down to the contact, right? Like the purloin um, took a few low lights, but I think it was more or less a neutral. It's just that we got hit with the highlight for the contact. And that's really, I think, a credit to Sonolator instead of a hit on Doppler. Um, just being conscious of the DAs that were in conversation uh, instead of being overly zealous for low lights. Yeah, well, let's see if Doppler can strike back on the sniper side. It is library. This is a good place. You don't want to be uh, going down 2-0 on library uh, just because the sniper is very powerful in a 5-8 situation. Mm -hmm. General is a very powerful spy to do it, and we'll do it in three, two, one, playing it. Immediate redirect straight to our seduction target. Uh, <laughs> Sonolator is what we call thirsty. <laughs> we do get a white flirt, so we got our 34%. Three at bookcase, but bookcase etiquette has changed. We are doing a white microfilm. Ooh. This might be an immediate shot. It feels Lasers like maybe. lingering. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, we have not taken the highlight for it, despite the laser being on us. Oh, there there it is. There it is. Uh, Doppler, I think, just shocked by just the brazenness of the microfilm. <laughs> uh, really thinking it over and then just taking the highlight. No reason to shoot. Even just doing one microfilm uh, this early in the game isn't a mission completion, let alone the other four missions that we need to do. Uh, Sonolator is going to need to do something very clever, be it either do very much nothing and let someone else die, or something very tricky that uh, gets some missions done. Things like difficult and fingerprints and really powerful bugs. Things yeah, off camera, because you're not going to be able to survive just a regular game with this sort of just incredibly uh, powerful highlight. Yeah, we decided to take this fake banana bread. Um, it's a really interesting choice, and we're, we're going to center statues. Doppler gets a few lowlights. Now we Pisces could, is the center statues. We could just hit right here. Uh, he's decided not to do more than two cycles. Uh, it means that we have not completed our inspects. I think we could have gotten away with it, just given the laser position, because I don't think we were actually on screen for the first cycle at all. Yeah, we thankfully managed to... Ooh! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Clever. It's not good, but we, we appreciate the cleverness. 
Uh, the behind the back bug there uh, works with the ambassador walking behind you when your circles make a little Venn diagram. Uh, the problem with that behind the back bug is you are facing the laser, so your arm is going sideways. You're not perpendicular, which is what you really want to see uh, when you have like an absolutely amazing uh, bug. Is just that the arm is hidden by your body, or at least coming towards the camera, so it's a bit harder to see than straight sideways. And simply just the laser being there meant it was an easy shot on somebody who was already highly suspicious. Yeah, I like the reverse drive-by bugs, but unfortunately the combination of us being high lit and maybe Toby being nearby is just uh, too much sound later. Uh, our Doppler gets it, and now we're tied up. We move on to Courtyard, which of the maps that deal with four missions has not been particularly, uh, statistically at least, uh, heavy spy third, but with more people on the map, spies should in theory be winning more games here. Uh, we can talk about that in three, two, one, playing it. Have you done any uh, matches or practice here on this? Bug is very optimistic, and we <laughs> immediately did okay. not get caught for it because we were being uh, accidentally yeah. low lit. Very yeah. early banana bread, too. Uh, Pearls will be a low light, but I think this is actually going to work off really well. We do Ooh. get a highlight lit. I wanted to talk about uh, just. Ooh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> thinking about it a bit more. Yeah, Doppler's just going going at it with all the progress. Um, we got our 51% flirt. Um, yeah, it's interesting that we got highlight for that banana split, but now we're brought back down neutral. Um, I don't love the, the low light because we also do feel very much like we're flirting with the banana split. If you're highlighting for the banana split, and then you can add in, even if it's not something that you particularly care about. That they're clearly flirting, that they went straight into the conversation. Um, I think Sonolator really. The only reason you shouldn't be taking this highlight is if you really want to save them for inspects. Uh, but we definitely need to be on top of the list, and potentially we are actually. Yeah, but I think I think that uh, you know it's interesting all the different all the different variations uh, of courtyard that we've tried. Um, yeah, we're gonna highlight for these statues, and it might be worse in Sonolator's mind because of the if uh, if they remember the split. Um, you know, of course, with with your tournament sniper arcade, and um, we were where we had uh, uh, three of seven. seven. Um, so I think it's interesting. I have played on uh, this variation several times. I still think that with, with more guests, there's a lot more to watch. It's harder to flirt pair, but. Um, I think it is still for a for a uh, experienced sniper. Um, Pumped a bullet. Still, it feels sniper sided to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a big thing with court. This is also very greedy. If you have a behavioral bone in your body, I think every single thing that Doppler has done uh, has just felt suspicious. Uh, green purloin is a winning uh, combination. We are actually in uh, mission win pending. Ambassador do not need to be here right now, uh, but this might actually give us some cover if they're watching for us potentially doing a bug. If the purloin happens here, especially since it's a DA, uh, it needs 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. The list has definitely been seen. The shot has not come off yet. We've got four seconds. Doppler is going to get away with this despite doing every single thing as possibly suspicious <laughs> as possible, except for hitting the green purloin instead of the white. Uh, definitely need the green test there. Just later just not piecing the puzzles together there, and uh, Doppler takes the win. Yeah, I think there's something to be said for how um, how efficient Doppler was in in the tells that were done. Uh, we got our two green flirt, um, which I think helps a ton. Um, so we, takes we the not, win there. We greened everything actually. Uh, we did have a yeah. one white white inspect, but that doesn't actually change the the calculus, right? You're still going to end up doing two cycles. Uh, there most of the time, and everything else was green. Um, yeah, Sonolator needed to be on on the ball, and I think if they'd taken that early highlight and seen a highlight then go to statues, uh, Doppler doesn't get away with this, especially since there's no chain, right? Once the it was actually the SDA took, yeah. Doppler really should be the person who just gets shot because there wasn't much of a chain for the purloin. Um, but again, it's a double-edged sword, right? When the SDA takes... You don't yeah, have to yeah. watch for that purloining, so you don't have to watch for the fade. So it all worked out for there. I'm not sure it was 100% deserved. I think that's more just a uh, sonolator seeing everything and just missing it. Uh, I'm 
where where the uh where the lesson in here is. I hope Sonolator learns it quickly because Doppler could otherwise run away with this set. Yeah, and and Sonolator now, uh, I'm sure wanting to keep things even, then we'll have to try to get past Doppler on the spy side. Three, two, one, playing it. Drink in hand here. We're playing boots, and oh, we're oh. going immediately for statues. You really shouldn't be doing swaps early on uh, on courtyard. They're just checked so aggressively by snipers. It's the first thing they do is they rotate around uh, to make sure they understand the statues because it's a fairly common play. We're doing it anyways. Uh, Twin might also end up on the list. We've got both the inspects. Uh, we've matched the statues, which definitely isn't. If you're ever like misconfident about uh, your statues, it's usually because it's gone from 2-1 to 3-1 sort of thing. Uh, when you match them, they go, that's definitely not how they were, unless they happen to also match the other side of the statues, which I don't believe they do. Yeah, I think it's it's an interesting thing to be thinking about if uh, if you get the sense the, that the ambassador might be in danger. I think it's especially risky because we had started with the drink, so you have to drink the drink, way. and only then can you take your statue. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. That's not oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, I wonder what happened there. What was the original highlight? Oh, okay, so I think what actually happened here is precisely what I was talking about, uh, where the uh, the statues were 1-2 and 1-3 mm -hmm. um, on our side with us with 20 oh, and Cowboy on the other side. And because we swapped it t from a 2 to a 1, uh, we caused a bit of mismemorization there from the sniper, and they just... Uh, figured out the wrong person on which side of the statue it was. Uh, if they'd done a bit of rotation around and seen that it was 1-3 and 1-1, maybe it would have triggered their memory correctly, and they could have found the shot. Uh, but they were very jumpy to, as soon as the banana bread went off uh, to shoot Cowboy without really making that extra consideration. And to be fair, it could have been Mission Win Countdown if the flirts were very effective from either our spy or uh, Cowboy who they shot. So I don't hate the uh, making sure that you shoot in those in those next ten seconds, but uh, with courtyard, yeah, this is I really the only power of the early swap is just <laughs> a bit of confusion. Like I'm surprised twin was an highlight either. Yeah, it's really interesting, and and cowboy's timing with joining the conversation and the BB comes off uh, looks very bad, uh, very suspicious. So. I don't think we can really credit our spy for for that cleverness. Uh, definitely <laughs> a powerful thing, right? Like that's probably why Cowboy was so quickly shot. Yeah, um, yeah. But I don't think they were looking at who was on the other side of the statues. Definitely something that you can do for consideration for who you need to keep in for the banana bread. But I just don't think the camera angle really pro proved that Sonolator was making that consideration. Uh, either way, two spy wins on Spy Bias Courtyard means that we've moved on to Ballroom which is suspiciously on our map pool because OP is the TO. So, <laughs> uh, this is just regular ballroom, right? There's no uh, different here. Uh, there might be six. Are there 16 guests, maybe? I'm trying maybe. To it does look very busy here. Uh, yeah, on I, think, I think there's one more than uh, than the, the standard like um, standard ballroom. Uh, I guess if I remember the ballroom is very much been a 50-50 map, but yeah, uh, I guess... When we look at stats, they're very varied, right? Like some games are uh, just players who snipe 80%, and some games are more more balanced. So Doppler playing Alice, and we'll see what they are up to. There's been a lot of very early starts from both these players, so they might be at it again, especially with Toby and the statues there in 3, 2, 1, playing it. Actually, letting it AI control for a little bit. Uh, and getting yeah. equally rewarded for it. Seduction target trying to flirt with us, uh, that we are the first <laughs> one to take the talk. And it's another 51%. Doppler has been very hot with their green tests, and it might be, if they win this set, the reason why they do so. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a timer flirt here. Um, I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, one thing that Doppler does have on his camera is uh, Sam in Danger at middle statues. Uh, while we have a lot of things to care about as the uh, spy, including uh, acting with Toby, uh, generally, if you can add in extra things, like making sure you understand who has middle statues, 
so you can keep them in for the banana bread at minimum, if not actively frame them. Uh, definitely yeah. something I would highly suggest to our uh, newer players, or really our veterans too. I know a lot of veterans just don't really have framing as part of their game. Yeah, sadly, Taft have, have left just before our flirtation cooldown expired. We chase, but we get a white. So, we'll have to see whether Doppler decides to make some other progress in, in some other area. There's a printed blue that we could take. Yeah, like we're I think at. Uh, if you're the sniper, uh, whoever goes to the blue bookcase next, uh, you need to have a heavy suspicion on. If you're Doppler, I would definitely make a consideration. I think the blue print at bookcase is just better than the inspect because we're going to take a highlight here. Oh. Or just get shot for the swap. Very bold here. We might have a bit of cover there from Salmon, but uh, very much a choice. Bold or a misclick? Could also be a misclick. Uh, that is definitely a good shout out. Uh, yeah. um, and they, he swapped a, before doing the second inspect, so I'm guessing. Let's we've go. had a few sloppy paths, including the path into statue, but uh, the stutter step into conversation is one that you see uh, even uh, the most new players catch, uh, simply because it is what other new player spies are very prone to do. Uh, just another flub there from Doppler, who's otherwise okay. been very clean on the green tests. Yeah, it looks like we're we're taking lights now for the statue. I'm, I'm wondering if it was just noticed now. Um, I think it had been... Disney might have been at this set of statues. It might have been that statue. Doppler um, going for another green test. I think they're just really feeling themselves on the action tests and are really prioritizing the action test uh, missions over uh, other missions that don't require them, such as fingerprints or uh, microfilm. Here we are. Uh, Sonolator has already uh, fallen to ho holding a shot. He's looking at the statue, but it's already been swapped, buddy. We've got three eagles over there. Uh, Do Doppler pulls off another spy win, and that's, I believe, three spy wins in a row for uh, our players combined. I think so, yeah. I I'm wondering if uh, if the pearl line had been noticed. You know, Doppler has been doing a very good job with, um, uh, with ordering missions, um, deciding to do our last, like, soft tail finishes after... We finished our flirt. Um, I think it's very good because giving um, Sonolator a bit of extra time to piece everything together and maybe think about the purloin could have been deadly. Um, yeah, if you look at where the laser is, and Cletus, if you want to put it on camera, we are not watching this purloin at all because we are out and out camping the statue. I don't really understand the camping of the statue unless we simply miss the swap, which would add up. Um, but yeah, the only opportunity we have to see the list fully is around like five to three seconds on the mission win countdown. And I'm not sure it was either. We were just making considerations of shooting the spy without actually checking if the spy had completed missions. Yeah. I think I think also like um just deciding to go for the inspects as the Perlin's pending, like ha having kind of both of the things happen at once. Um so somebody really has to really has to be on the ball and decide. Um it makes it a tougher shot. Um, I think Doppler just very on top of their greens today, and uh, or on you know during the match, and I think it's really been paying off. Yeah, I mean, if you can just hit green tests, uh, you have so much more flexibility on things like rushes, or just even just doing purloins whenever. And we've seen them more or less take purloins when Toby comes to visit them. So, uh, leading into what has been a good skill for them. Sonolator is now again in the tough spot of losing on the sniper and needing to win on a spy map. Ballroom is fairly friendly for it though. We'll see if they can do it in three, two, one, plan it. Again, uh just early uh, mission site. Um oh, hey, I am uh, I am on the wrong map somehow. Let me uh I ended up yeah, on... I ended up Start I think over. I skipped twice somehow. Uh, From the okay. top, we're uh, yeah. cowboy on ballroom. Let so. me, uh, yeah, why don't we reset? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, hide, hide things, even though I mean, I guess I technically can't spoil anything because uh, there's twelve. <laughs> they're they're playing twelve matches. Spoiler alert. <laughs> or twelve twelve games that is. All right, so here we go, and we got uh, okay, we got Mr. Cowboy Tex. Carlos. Yeah. I'll let it spy drink in hand, and we're gonna head to the blue bookcase in three, two, one, planet. Wow, how'd uh, you look, know? We're taking, we're taking control immediately, and we're at the blue bookcase. I would not suggest microfilming with Toby right behind us. We're just a bit too much. Uh, 
Eh, Toby's run away. We might get away with this, actually. We also have a bit of cover here from Salmon. Uh, yeah, Doppler. Yes. Didn't take it. Yeah, These a... early anim animation microfilms are good. You're going to get away with them most of the time. Uh, the problem is we now have uh, to do a committal green animation microfilm. And the green bookcase itself isn't particularly good. You can definitely take a green book out and do the microfilm elsewhere, which can be a lot more powerful. But uh, that's very time consuming. Yeah, and there's, you know, the statues have actually been pretty busy. There's there's a couple of middle inspectors already. Um, oh, another purloin. To... Yeah. And we're getting away from it. <laughs> Sensibly, I think. I agree. Yeah, I think running away from the purloin here makes total sense. We're going towards our seduction target. We're getting away banana bread. from the scene of the crime. We're covering it a bit with the banana bread. Uh... That's a potentially dead Ooh. Disney. Ooh. Nope, just safety off. Uh, <laughs> return list. <laughs> he did it! No, he returned. Was that a safety off on a... No, he's returned pending. Uh, uh -huh. Disney is now going to return the list and die for it. 100%. He's dead. You can't, you can't allow that. You already had safety off on him. <laughs> uh, fun fact, uh, the return of a list also has the same fa fade speed uh, mechanics as Perlin. Uh So when you return the list, uh, it fades back quicker when you do a green return. Uh, Disney does get shot there, potentially for just finishing the flirt, potentially for the list showing back up and the sniper having none of the potential trolling. However, they did not shoot the correct troll. Sauna later has brought it back again, and I believe we're 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, 3-3. Yeah, three, three. So. I am... Uh... Really happy with that call out on the return list. I <laughs> was more or less joking. I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, it really is about as good as it gets for a return yeah. list on Ballroom. I do, I, do, I do question the uh, taking safety off on a fake BB. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think. Uh, yeah, he couldn't have been in the purloin chain, right? He was just holding his statue when the purloin was going. Yeah, although Toby was Toby ended up ends up back there in that area, and I wonder if um it just seemed kind of kind of weirded out because it um because like Disney redirects to the same statue and then tries to go for another statue, but but is beat to it by Queen. It looks like or no Teal. Yeah, I'm not really saying particularly for this game, uh, but just in general, if you see a character who's doing a lot of weird things, like going statue to statue. Um, it's usually going to be the AI just in their random number generator. Um, that being said, if you already have a hint that your spy is trying to uh, get in your nerves, tilting, uh, or trolling, and I think you have a good reason to believe that because they just returned a list, uh, maybe this shot is a bit more justified. Obviously, not fully justified, it wasn't the spy. Yeah, we will be moving on to high rise. And on the clock, three of six, and they've decided to go with swap as the stick. Uh, the logic here, uh, but behind the build, as far as I can tell, is by having swap or microfilm required. Uh, there's a bit more reason for us to have to watch the right side of the party, which can be a bit uh lonely in a three of five situation. I'm interested to see if we do end up seeing a swap. If not in this match, maybe the next one. We will be seeing four games of High Rise today on our cast. This will be the first one with Doppler as the spy and playing as Seek in three, two, one, playing it. Immediate low light. Oh no. Oh yeah, I wonder if that was a. And when you get away from the DA, so. Uh, yeah, no, it's 100%. Uh, I think that was. Must have been an attempted low light on Duke. Who is the DA? Uh, there comes the actual low light. Will we realize that we just have a low lit seek in the middle of our party, or is Doppler going to play this whole game with a huge advantage? That'd be pretty tragic. Doppler again hitting a green flare. So we'll yeah. have to. Doppler is a green menace. Green menace <laughs> is the name of the Hulk, isn't it? Um, yeah, th <laughs> this is the large value here, right? Is Doppler shouldn't know that they're low lit. They have absolutely no reason to believe that. 
but and they are potentially being watched for a swap despite the fact that they're low lit uh, given the laser placement um i think the first tell here is that this laser didn't touch us at this statue we should not feel like we've been high lit because we just haven't had the laser on us except for you know the first second of the game um doppler probably thinks he just got away with the inspect and this is going to be very confusing for our spy uh, but they could probably just take this bug and be fine yep there it is yeah uh and it's just in the nick of time before Amber leaves, so it feels like we're in just a fantastic position here. Um, and you might also wonder, as Doppler, if you're watching the laser a lot, whether we even notice that the first set of statues, we can just... Yeah, like, so if this is a regular yeah. game, right? Doppler uh, goes to bookcase, does nothing, it's fine. Uh, goes to statue, should be high lit, and then goes and does... What is an okay at best bug? You finally find it, but it's too late. He already has an inspect and bug in pocket. And it's really that bug uh, that's going to do him in. Because if we uh, do another inspect and another flirt and we don't say banana bread, I just don't see the shot coming off. Uh, unless Sonolator really is just feeling that there aren't any other suspects and knows that they made a mistake early in the game. This has to be a highlight here. You cannot allow him to do inspects this freely. Yeah, I just... Yeah, this, this game's over. Doppler's got this. He might even end it here immediately. He's not Ooh, going no. for it. I think maybe just got a bit bullied there by Duke uh, from his preferred precision. Um, this was 23%, by the way, and we 26%. This is not a good purloin. This is the way... Oh. That was not a good decision by Doppler. I do not know why they did that. They... Are gonna win this game anyways. Two seconds left on the clock. Oh, that's so greedy. Yeah. So it's actually pretty wild, right? Because um, the next, the next person Toby's gonna offer to is gonna be in a really hard place to see the list. And so I actually think it's a very interesting purloin. Now, if if Doppler hadn't purloined, it would have left us in a very hairy situation where we would have been inching near like a, uh. Like overtime, if if we try to time or float it right, so. But when is this purloin? Like, if you think you're top suspect, this purloin <laughs> is never gonna work. If it's no, if you think you're a low suspect, just head off to windows, come back and flirt, and if uh, we have a mean seduction target who goes and does a briefcase or something, you still have contact and purloin <laughs> as potential missions to do. Yeah. Um, if you I... think that you're somewhere in between still go do the flirt thing flirts are hard to shoot for it just it's not a advisable decision in any sense yeah. and you can't reward uh bad decisions just because you got the w uh again <laughs> on later just dropping the ball but this one just more unfortunate just an unforced error and nothing that you can feel bad about you just load the spy on accident it's not going to happen too often in your life and when it does it's just you lose immediately it's fine yeah, it's pretty tragic and unfortunate low light and and running away and coming back to do the flirt surely was the safe choice, but I like the spicy choice. That was very fun. So. I mean, if you hit the green, <laughs> by the way, look at how many people are high lit. It's almost guaranteed to be taken either by the DA here, which would be confusing, or by a highlight. So yeah, it yeah. was always going to work out. It's just because we white tested it, it just looks atrocious, and I'm going to be critical because <laughs> they asked me to. Yeah. But here we are uh, as planes win. You want to count us off? In three, two, one, plan it. I did want to mention uh, this was a potentially good. They're going to go for another early microfilm, aren't they? They've done it multiple games, and this will be another one. Oh, they're going for the uh, quick book pull, uh, which is also going to be an early microfilm, but uh, with a bit more spice, a bit more difference. Yep. Uh, yeah, notably. And another 51% flirt. Yep. Now, notably, our mission list is a bit different this time. Swap is off as his fingerprint, so we we absolutely can direct transfer this. Toby has been highlighted, and I agree with the decision. Uh, Perlon has been incredibly popular. We're just returning it. What a choice. Oh, yeah, we no, we'll wait. We'll make it. We'll make it. Uh, we wanted to get even further behind the wall, it seems like, and uh, that's a bit quick. You really should be. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be credited for it anyway. That'd be tragic. Yeah. I think we might actually be okay. Uh, it was really the path that was more concerned. Oh, that's awful. I love it, but it's awful. 
<laughs> we made very, right. very sure right. that it sticks. Uh... Oh, stop talking this. You're gonna die for this flirt. Like... Really? Like, the SDA helps us here, because uh, the structure target also left. This might actually not look like an incredibly aggressive flirt, and because we two flirted it, uh, the sniper might be a bit more patient. But what is our finish here? If we contact, we die. Um, if we go do the microphone or the inspect, we especially die. Um, I just don't see a course of action for Sonolator, except for leaving it incredibly late to give just a bit more chance that a civilian dies. But really doing that without doing a fake banana bread, and how do you really know it's a fake banana bread um, without knowing who the SDA is? It's, it's a rough spot. Yeah, it does feel like we're gonna have to do something real clever if we're gonna gonna squeak out a victory here. Yeah, and the the big thing is the spy should know, right? Like the spy should absolutely know that they're uh, a high suspect, if not top suspect. Uh, so you're making this choice consciously, and yeah. That's right. Yeah, I do wonder. You know, is there a chance that we survive if if we go to statues after our uh, after our two green flirt, and maybe the sniper decides to hold and, and wonders, well, maybe they haven't finished Flirt yet, but, um, yeah, but it's, it's tough, and, uh, clearly Doppler on top of things, crediting that bug, and that's a shot. Yeah, it's just, I mean, obviously, like, tip number one, don't get yourself into this situation, right? Uh, don't do really bad bugs that are just gonna get you high lit. Um, but next step, I think really like just in general uh when you see these things either you want to finish as quickly as possible as you mentioned right you just you just rush it down if you go yeah. to two minutes instead of one minute or leave it as literally late as possible like just go stand at bookcase microfilm at like three seconds left and then slip it in uh at mission win countdown um just while they have to go watch for late swap or not swaps uh, late purloins and they're waiting for the banana bread. Uh, you might get away with that, but really, we're talking like single digit, single digit percentage points chance that you win this set. Every, everything you have to do has to be very clever, or the sniper just has to be very distracted. Yeah, well, the Doppler will break serve and and pull ahead for um, our first time this set, and let's see if uh, they can keep it up on Modern. That's another tough map for snipers. Four of eight. And we also have a bit of terrace coming up, which is also um, something where the snipers are never going to feel incredibly comfortable, uh, just because it's another low mission with only three missions needed. Uh, it's already been a pretty sniper by bias set, and we could see even more spy wins here with Doppler uh, being Disney for this game in three, two, one, planet. Yeah, and I think especially with. Um... Yeah, you know, un unmodern. I feel like such a difficult hurdle and obstacle is getting used to um, the bar delegates, and especially on such a big venue. Um, I think it really leaves a lot of a lot of room to do interesting things. Yeah, the saving grace for the sniper isn't something the sniper has any control over. It's just the Anywhere. size of the map, which makes oh. it harder. This is a BB split into statues. We could cop a very big highlight or low light in the situation. Uh, we haven't done either yet. This is the highlight, but I think this mm. wasn't a BB split highlight. I think this might just be a regular inspect highlight. Um, it could come with a large cost, though. Uh, I'm not also sure this was a particularly good banana bread. We didn't look around the party, and there's a lot of low lights, including everybody who's at bar, which yeah. makes uh, we're watching Purloin about the next minute a lot easier on the sniper. Yeah, we do get our green flirt. Uh, this was a very, very expensive BB split. Um, I saw later um, highlighting for inspects um, this whole set. I wonder if uh, we would have been better off BB splitting into bookcase or something and, and wondering if that might get us a low light. Um, as it stands, it seems like we're in, we're in big trouble. Yeah, while we're timer flirting here, and it looks like we're not anymore, uh, these guys need to win this uh, set to have uh, a dream of getting through their group. Sauerkraut is in this group, and Sauerkraut has about 10,000 games now. Uh, not someone that you truly expect to beat on a regular basis. Mm. And the other player is Furby Fubar, who both these players could potentially beat. 
Uh, but Furby is a seasoned veteran. It's not someone that you want to be going in as a must win. Um, because you only get out if you're top two. Uh, this is definitely a must win. And Doppler, I think, is in a worse position than he started the match in. Or sorry, that started the game in. <laughs> definitely in a worse position. He's now dead. Uh, the yeah. Purloin was definitely caught. Uh, really, I think the biggest uh, criticism here is you've got to look around the party uh, before you do a banana bread. Um, I appreciate the idea of doing a banana bread into a mission, uh, but inspects just takes too long. If you did like banana bread to, into a swap, I think it would be more justified, though it's a much crazier play uh, to do. Uh, but I would have preferred uh, maybe a bit calmer of a game, uh, especially since almost every other game that you've played has been very aggressive. Uh, we are due for a, uh, a slower game at some point uh, because Sonolator is just getting jumpier and jumpier as time goes on. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting, kind of a kind of a high risk potential play. If if you see all those people at bar and maybe you, you hope that the sniper gets low late happy, it's not something you can bank on. Um, but <laughs> but it does not pay off for Doppler here. Um, so Sonolator has a chance to tie things up now. And uh, let's do it in three, two, one, planet. Playing some boots. Uh, what's the plan here? It should be flirt. This is going to be... Okay, 33%. The concern I had was if we did a green test, this might be like 48%. I think it would have been 49% and we'd be happy. 33% uh, is also good for a white test, right? Because if you can do 33, 34, or 34, 34... Uh, you'll be close enough. This is really the sort of range you precisely want to be on if you're trying to avoid flirt suspicion but still getting enough flirt that you can still uh, flirt as quickly as possible given whatever your action tests are. Yeah, it can be interesting how deceptive the distances can look like um, on the conversation circle sometimes. Um, kind of in both directions, uh, depending, on, depending on the sniper angle. Yeah, both these guys um, just... I don't love the way that their uh, camera works while they're on the spy side. Uh, really, you just want to be watching mainly the ambassador, uh, just so you have an idea of what's going on uh, fingerprint-wise. Uh, but more or less, always be facing towards the party, unless there's something that you're specifically looking for. Sonolator is going to go for the early inspects. We'll see if they eat the highlight here. Uh, I think these guys have just been consistent on always highlighting for inspects. Um, and here it goes. Without any other hardtailed missions done, this could be uh, costly and give Doppler a chance because I think we're one of two highlights. Uh, there'll be a few more here. Mm. This is... Like, I think the sniper should know that a bug didn't happen, but that doesn't mean it wasn't suspicious. Yeah, very interesting play. Um, you know, if we if we if you manage to get a bug clean there and and you you get your statue statue inspects done and and hope that only part of it's seen, then you're in a great spot. But as it, as it stands, we're, uh, it feels a little scary. Yeah, the stop also doesn't work right. Like, there's some times where AIs will just stop if their spot gets taken. Uh, but when you end up stuttering right next to the thing that you're landing on, uh, it is almost always, if not always, the spy. Uh, very quick shot there from Doppler, and I don't blame him. Especially if you credited that bug. Uh, that yeah. and the flirt could be credited too. Um, that could actually be uh, four missions credited, and mm -hmm. therefore the shot is just timely. Yeah, no, it's a good shot from uh, good shot from Doppler, and so Doppler will will stay up six to four, and um, has secured at least the tie. Yeah, I mean, definitely wants to win this game eleven here, uh, as like Smallman uh, on Terrace and then have a victory lap for game 12 because we are going to play out all the matches but uh, it doesn't necessarily need to win this to get the win and I think we'll happily take the tie uh, if push comes to shove or I should say Sonolator will happily take the tie uh, because a tie at least gives you a chance of getting through this group uh, a loss I, I don't believe in it so Doppler picking the small man himself <laughs> and Terrace isn't really the classic map for small one, but we'll see it in three, two, one, planet. It get, gets mentioned as much by me as uh, people saying that Courtyard is about getting the hard tell. 
Small man is good at two things. Uh, time adds, which we've just done a watch check, but we're AI controlling through. And being small. Uh, you can sometimes get some people cover on Terrace, but there really isn't anything crazy. It's not Tayen or Gallery, for example. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this briefcase. We've not seen fingerprints this set. Uh, I think this is a great choice by Doppler. And first case is sometimes a highlight for some players, but I don't think we've seen it. If you're... Oh. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. We've seen, uh, we've seen a few of those now. Uh, low lights <laughs> reconsidered. We saw one that wasn't reconsidered. Thank goodness for Sauna related. That potentially would have just been set. And match. I mean, you just yeah. don't low light, small man. Yeah, <laughs> that's a dangerous game. But, but here we are. We got the option for a bug. It's it's whispering to us. Yeah, you can't take, take it now. It? Oh, you can't take that now. Th Sauna later. You saw that, right? Surely. Uh, no, oh, unfortunately, Sauna later, like, um, the angle that we're taking hides the bug really well. Um, In the end of the and so... Yeah, sadly, that's that's a bug that's given off. Yeah, this uh, something that I want to bring up there. Doppler wasn't watching the ambassador there when he walked into conversation and did the talk, and that meant when the ambassador did a path by us, they weren't ready for either a quick behind the back or just taking the bug as soon as the ambassador landed. Uh, really, just keeping an eye on the party there is important. This could be set that we have two possible finish finishes with another print or obviously just the flirt flirts gonna be uh preferred and if we just stand here with the people cover of duke and rocker i see no reason why we should be shot for it yeah and we got plenty of time too we'll, we'll have um our flirt back up you know close to a little over 30 seconds i think so yeah it feels like it's gonna be really hard to get shot for this uh another thing that's just happened is the ambassador has picked up a statue if our seduction target is an absolute jerk, uh, we do have another win condition. Now they're going to bar. Uh, Doppler could end this three different ways. Flirt, definitely uh, the way, though. And thankfully, they're not going out of their way to purloin this game. The talk comes off. This should be game set and match for Doppler. I could not see this shot coming off. Uh, Silent Lady just not guarding the bug. And on Terrace, it's one mission ends you. Uh... Doppler with a fingerprint in pocket to a really lovely uh, game uh, from Doppler and a deserved win uh, for both this game and also the set. We do get a victory lap for uh, Sonolator, or well, for Doppler's sniper, and Sonolator gets the chance for honor. But uh, thoughts in this set here while. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like. Yeah, I like this uh, small man game. I think I think it's played very well, and and um, if you're if you're aware of the angle that the sniper's taking, um, like knowing that they're looking at you from the side, then then this bug it gets way way better, and and so mm -hmm. it was it does end up looking like a very good bug from sniper side. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think it's good, and and Doppler of course um, played very well this set. Had lots of lots of great green tests that that won some good matches and and good on their um their kind of mission pacing and and uh order of missions so uh, overall very impressive to play yeah and i think the green tests have definitely helped too uh we won't be getting more doppler green tests we might get some for sauna later who gets to finish this set up uh here with three of seven ter three of seven terrace in three two one playing it seeing more seek uh this could be a rage game we could immediately swap here yeah. And it's a rage game. I love rage games. Uh, the set uh, is already over. Uh, you've already lost. And what do you want to do? You go swap a statue, and it often ends up with a win. Uh, yeah, I think I think there can't. There, I think there's some validity to to how we rage bug. Let's go, Sun <laughs> later. In the Into a rush. rage banana bread. It's a rush. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Game's gonna be over before two minutes left on the clock. I think we're just gonna get it. I actually think that that swap was um, was really nice because we were so close to the statue. Like we had the option to to swap it so early. Wow, what a rush! I love that. Yeah, really, uh, just a pretty game uh, from Sonolator. Obviously, would have liked to have it earlier in the set. Uh, unfortunately, uh, because the uh, the statue to our left at the start was also a Venus. Uh, often called a two, because people uh, match them by size. We did not match all the statues to Eagle, um, but lovely game there from Sonolator. Uh, and 
potentially just not memorizing the statues there for our sniper. If they did memorize the statues, just the fact that we finished in 10, 15 seconds after doing the swap uh, gave them no time to really make the uh, the notice. And you, why would you expect an early swap other than the fact that it's game 12 and a set that's already yeah. over? Yeah, Amba was in a little bit of danger from General towards the start there, standing next to him. So um, I think it's easy to overlook. Um, and you might credit it, but just with how fast Sonolator finishes, it uh, feels almost a little unexpected. Um, it's a very cool. So Sonolator, unfortunately, doesn't win the set. Doppler will take the set. But Sonolator certainly um, repping Team Do Stuff uh, after Opie's heart, this guy. So yeah, very nicely I think... done. I really like the play. I think there's just if you can continue to just play with that sort of boldness on spy, um, at minimum you'll learn what works and doesn't work, and at best, uh, you'll be a spy who's at least feared if not revered. Um, the only thing I really <laughs> want to see from both these players, spy, uh, moving forward, is just looking around at the party and particularly the ambassador. Uh, we saw one fingerprint in twelve games, and I think a large part of that is just what they're looking at. Um, in the party, um, looking too much at their character and not towards the ambassador, but uh, not really a true criticism. I think uh, both players played well, and I think Doppler did deserve to win at the end. I think 7-5 is more or less a scoreline that is deserved by uh, our players.